Good morning, everyone. My name is humbly Anna Anders here at ForGlobalPeace.com. And I'm at home here having some coffee with my girlfriend. Can you give a shout out, please? Hello? Hello. hello. So this is my girlfriend here. She's talking right now. I'm going to move this can over to my table. I'm not going to put you on camera at all. We're going to keep you anonymous, right? Yes. And is that okay if I shoot this video with you being anonymous? Yes. Thank you. Um, so what I want to say is my girlfriend here, when I first moved into corrupt Cleveland, Ohio, folks, just recently relocating from the south, corrupt southwest, um, what happened was my girlfriend here, we're going to keep you anonymous. Can I use yes. your, do you mind if I use your first initial as referring to you? Is that okay? Uh, how about a B for Bella? B for Bella. There we go, Bella. Very good. I like that. So anyways, Bella, what I want to say is when you helped me to first move in from the Southwest, um, how did I appear to you? Did I appear stressed out or anything? Because you, you knew me from before, right, Bella? Uh, stressed and very, very tired. Okay, but what I want to say is you knew me from before. You've yes. seen You've seen my personality, my being, everything before, right? Yes. And so did I look the same as I did when you first met me originally when I first came back from the Southwest? Yes or no? No. No. And what do you think all that stress was about for me, Bella? Very, very, very stressed I mean, because you were being very, very followed. Very, very followed by who? By Bella? the police. By the police, Bella. Yeah. And I told you about that on many occasions, right? Many, many, many. Many occasions like when I was out in the Southwest because you and I would talk almost daily, right? In Arizona all the time. Please for every place. Yeah. I mean, but when I would talk to you on the telephone, you'd call me every yes. day. Okay. And so when I would talk to you often, I would tell you about the police yes. following me, right? So now, when I got back to uh, corrupt Cleveland, Ohio here to get settled into my new home, my new, new home here that I'm trying to unpack and uh, get organized, what I want to ask you is, did you notice anything strange when you would go about driving when yes. I first moved in? What did you I, notice? I have had more police all around Can my Can you come video. over here and, and, and say this? Because I think coming closer to the mic is much better for the video. So what did you say? Did I've you... had many, many police all around my vehicle uh -huh. after... And I came home. Right. Which and, was different. Um, and why do you think that happened? Do you think it's because you've been hanging out with me or what? I think possibly that very well could be because it never happened before. And now that I was like suspicious, now yesterday and today I had two police officers wave at me. Fo but they're following and they you and they wave. Around. All of a sudden they're changing yes. their attitude yes. of, and they're waving and being nice to yes. you, right? Yes. Okay. So do you find that strange? Have you... I, it's very unique and different. I don't understand it. <laughs> okay, but now I'm going to ask you, have you ever, your whole life of driving as an adult, have you ever had a police officer come around you and then all of a sudden wave at no, you? No. So never. this is your first time in your adult life yep. that they yep. drove by yep. you yesterday and today. Yep. And they waved at you yes. like, hello. Yes. And they made fa unique. face contact with you. Yes. Okay, very, very good. Different. And what community did this happen in? It happened in Cleveland. Okay, Cleveland or Garfield? Uh, Garfield. Very good. Yeah, because that's more specific. So that tells, because Cleveland police officers are way different than Garfield. Okay. Okay, so if it happened in Garfield, Garfield is Garfield, Cleveland is Cleveland, and then the other towns, they're surrounding. Yes. Are, are, they have their own police. And they weren't they don't, and they weren't the usual police officers who I would see, like, in business places. They were, like, people that I didn't even know. Or recognize? I didn't recognize. So these, um, let me ask you this. The officer that waved at you yesterday and the officer that waved at you two, today. Two different people. Two, two different people altogether. Yeah. And they're not regular, like, regular police officers that you've seen on the police no. force. On the police force. Nope. No. Did you know that our government could put people in police uniforms and put them in a vehicle just as... I, didn't know that. And they, they don't necessarily have to be part of the police force to run around those vehicles. Did you know that, too? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but that's how crap goes. Um, you know, some people, they want to, like, trust the authorities that way, but myself, I will never trust the authorities. Hi, I'm Anna Anders. I'm the founder of ForGlobalPeace.com. I lived in Parma, Ohio. Um, and yes, I know it was many moons ago. And yes, I know people want to say, oh, get over it. But no, I will not get over it. Because um, what I want to say is this. Um, yeah, I know what I saw and experienced at 7011 Virginia Avenue, Parma, Ohio. Uh, 
you know, back on Mar March 17, 1990, okay? So I know what I went through. I know what I went through for many days thereafter. And what I want to say is it still exists. The corruption still exists, people. I don't care how nice they are to you today. And I don't care how nice you are to them. What I want to say, that's not the heart and the root of the problem with our nation from local to national level, okay? Or even global level if we want to get big and talk about uh, the Mossad agents and talk about the UK talk about how corrupt things are with the corrupt Queen of England and her 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 society of uh, CIA or FBI agents. So what I want to say, people, don't don't think just because they're being nice to you and giving you answers and all that horse shit that corruption's not existing. It is existing, and so that's what I'm talking about as a peace activist. So um, it's all of a sudden very strange that this new trend. I'm going to call it a new trend. I'm going to repeat myself. New trend that my friend here at home today visiting with me, because we usually connect daily, don't we? Yes. Either fe telephone or in person. Yes. And I'm And I'm so grateful, God, for my beautiful friend, uh, Bella, here. Um, but what I want to say is this, people. I'm giving heads up to what is happening in my little world, humbly, because it's a reality. It's not a fantasy that Anna's just making up. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking up the truth. And the truth is I do get followed by the police. How many times did I, on that Saturday of going to the Al-Anon meeting? Many. many times over. So, And this was just recently here. So, yeah, um, what I want to know, I mean, because if people, people, if you really want to support me and support this cause, then, hey, show up in your blue uniforms, and I'll be more than happy to give you one of these stickers to put on your patrol car or to put on your personal and private vehicle when, for when you're off duty, okay? But, um, yeah, the struggle is real on the planet. And it's really real for real peace activists and real activists that want to expose the corruption and disruption in human life and human values and the oppression of it, okay? Because this is an act of an oppression when you're being followed constantly by the police. That's exactly why I left, and I'm giving the peace sign, Flagstaff, Arizona. How can you make peace flags with being uh, oppressed, politically speaking, and targeted, okay? I'm getting off the, phone, off the video now, but I'll reshoot in here in a second. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.